First, let's embark on a journey to the mesmerizing Indian Ocean. Here we will uncover the fascinating story of Ceylon, which is now known as Sri Lanka. Picture pristine beaches with golden sands, lush tea plantations stretching over rolling hills, and ancient ruins whispering tales of a bygone era, all set against a rich cultural tapestry. This is Sri Lanka, a country with a history as vibrant and colorful as its breathtaking landscape. For centuries, Ceylon was a coveted jewel for colonial powers, including the Portuguese, Dutch, and British, each leaving their architectural and cultural imprints. The name Ceylon has its roots in the Sanskrit word Simhala, which means lion-hearted, reflecting the bravery and spirit of its people. Under British rule, Ceylon flourished as a major producer of tea and spices, becoming renowned worldwide for its high-quality products. In 1948, Ceylon gained its independence, marking a significant turning point in its rich and complex history. In 1972, the country proudly changed its name to Sri Lanka, reclaiming its ancient heritage and identity. The name Sri Lanka resonates deeply with the country's cultural identity, symbolizing its aspirations and hopes for the future. Today, Sri Lanka stands as a beacon of resilience and hope, echoing the indomitable spirit and strength of its people, who continue to shape its future with pride and determination. Next, let's visit Southeast Asia and examine the name change from Burma to Myanmar. Imagine a land of glistening pagodas, bustling markets, and a rich tapestry of cultures. For much of the 20th century, the country was known as Burma, a name from British colonial rule. In 1989, the ruling military junta changed the country's name to Myanmar. Proponents argued Myanmar was more inclusive, reflecting the country's many ethnic groups. Opponents saw it as an attempt by the military regime to assert its authority. Internationally, the name change has been contentious, with some countries continuing to use Burma. The debate over the name reflects deeper political and social complexities. It's a reminder of the enduring legacy of colonialism and the struggle for democracy. Myanmar's name change symbolizes its search for a unified national identity. Now let's head to West Africa and explore the fascinating story of Upper Volta, a country that has undergone a significant transformation and is now known as Burkina Faso. Imagine a land where the sun-baked Sahel meets the expansive savanna, creating a unique blend of ancient traditions and modern aspirations. This is Burkina Faso, a country that beautifully marries its rich cultural heritage with the hopes and dreams of a contemporary society. Burkina Faso embodies resilience, a fierce determination to forge its own destiny, and a community spirit that is evident in every aspect of daily life. From the bustling markets to the cooperative efforts in the fields, the people of Burkina Faso work together to build a better future. The story of this remarkable nation begins with Upper Volta, a name imposed by French colonizers during their rule. This colonial legacy left a lasting impact on the country's identity and history. In 1984, the revolutionary leader Thomas Sankara made a bold move by changing the country's name to Burkina Faso. This change was more than just a new name, it was a declaration of independence and a new beginning for the nation. The new name derived from the Masi and Dula languages translates to land of upright people. It was a powerful statement that reflected the values and aspirations of the Burkinabe people. This renaming was a powerful statement of national pride and a clear rejection of the colonial past. It signified a commitment to integrity, honesty, and the collective spirit of the nation. Sankara believed that a name should reflect the soul of a nation, and Burkina Faso was chosen to embody the spirit of its people. His vision was to create a society that was self-reliant, proud, and united. Today, Burkina Faso stands as a testament to Sankara's legacy and the enduring spirit of its people. The country continues to strive for progress and development while honoring its rich cultural heritage. The name Burkina Faso serves as a constant reminder of the country's commitment to integrity, resilience, and the unwavering spirit of its people. It is a symbol of national pride and a beacon of hope for future generations. Chapter 4, Turkey to Turkey, Embracing a Linguistic Identity. Next, let's visit the crossroads of Europe and Asia and explore the recent name change from Turkey to Turkey. Picture a country straddling two continents, a bridge between East and West. In 2022, the country officially adopted Turkey as its internationally recognized name. This change wasn't driven by political upheaval but by a desire to embrace the country's linguistic identity. 
The name Turkey has often been associated with the bird, creating a comical representation. Turkey reflects the country's true pronunciation and avoids unintended associations. This change is part of a broader trend of countries reclaiming their narratives. It's about ensuring the world recognizes and respects a country's chosen name. Chapter 5, Zaire to Democratic Republic of Congo, Reclaiming a Nation's Heritage. Now let's visit Central Africa and examine the name change from Zaire to Democratic Republic of Congo. Imagine a country in the heart of Africa, a land of immense natural beauty and diverse culture. For a period this nation was known as Zaire, synonymous with Mobutu Sese Seko's authoritarian rule. In 1997 Mobutu's regime was overthrown, ushering in a new era of hope. The country reverted to its pre-colonial name, the Democratic Republic of Congo. This change was a powerful act of reclaiming the country's heritage and rejecting dictatorship. The name reflects the country's rich history and aspirations for a democratic society. Today the Democratic Republic of Congo faces challenges with renewed national pride. The name change serves as a reminder of the country's resilience and commitment to progress. Chapter 6, Southwest Africa to Namibia, a desert nation's fight for freedom. Finally, let's travel to Southern Africa and explore the compelling story of Southwest Africa, now known as Namibia. This is a land where the vastness of the Namib Desert meets the rugged beauty of the Skeleton Coast. Picture a land of vast deserts, rugged coastlines, and a unique blend of cultures. The Namib Desert, one of the oldest deserts in the world, stretches endlessly, while the Skeleton Coast is known for its shipwrecks and stark beauty. The Himba people with their rich traditions add to the cultural tapestry of this nation. Namibia's journey to independence was long and arduous, marked by struggle against colonial rule. The people of Namibia faced numerous challenges, including oppressive regimes and harsh living conditions. For much of the 20th century, it was known as Southwest Africa, a name reflecting its colonial status. The region was under German control until World War I, after which it came under South African administration. In 1990, after decades of struggle and international pressure, Namibia achieved independence, adopting a name derived from the Namib Desert. This momentous occasion was celebrated with great joy and hope for the future. The name Namibia symbolizes the country's unique landscape and enduring spirit. It reflects the resilience and determination of its people, who have overcome great adversity to build a nation they can be proud of. The name change represented a new beginning and a rejection of the colonial past. It was a powerful statement of identity and self-determination, signaling a break from the oppressive history that had long overshadowed the nation. Today, Namibia stands as a beacon of hope and inspiration, overcoming immense challenges. Its cities are growing, its wildlife is thriving in places like Atosha National Park, and its cultural festivals celebrate the rich heritage of its people. The name serves as a reminder of its hard-won freedom and commitment to a brighter future. It is a testament to the strength and unity of the Namibian people, who continue to strive for progress and prosperity. These name changes reflect complex histories, rich cultural identities and struggles for independence. Thanks for joining me on this enlightening journey through the fascinating world of country name changes. If you have any questions or interesting topics you'd like me to cover, please comment below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more engaging